People want to know how I make these portraits. Each one takes several weeks. The studio visit shows a few minutes of the process. I just use push pins to um, attach this fabric, which is called tobacco cloth. It's a, heavier than cheesecloth. It's, it's very uniform weave and it's cotton. And I have my different shades of diluted gray tone here. And then I test, I test what's on the brush just because uh, I've made mistakes before. And, um, and then I usually have had some notion of what I'm going to accomplish in this, in this particular painting session, which is for me, just this last edge of hair, there's like, this is pretty much done, but there's just a little edge of um, the bottom edge of this hair that I wanna just bring, give it some, some small definition. Um, at this edge of the painting, but um, so I'm not I'm not doing any heavy lifting right now, but you still don't want to make a mistake, you know, like why I go to the trouble to paint with this degree of uh, various, you know, various similitude to a photograph is that um, it's, I, I have total control of the grayscale. And so if it's, if it's a little harsh in the photograph, I can soften that. Over working on these, I've trained my eye to see these levels of, on the grayscale that um, I'm sure I didn't, didn't so acutely know before I started this project. But because I'm a black and white photographer, I've done that uh, large format photography for like 30 years. Um, I uh, love the grayscale <laughs> and I, the type of photography I did, I was always trying to um, reduce contrast to render more detail um, rather than get it punchy. And I think that's kind of the um, the overall effect of of my painting is that I'm softening the contrast but delivering more detail. And this is my friend Patricia.